Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Viktor Orban, who is the leader of Hungary, the Prime Minister of Hungary, and who you know has been traveling this year to many, many countries, trying his best to negotiate peace. Well, he's not the one involved in the conflict, but trying his best to influence those who have an impact on the situation for peace in Europe. And that is Viktor Orban who said, as you will see in the title of this video, Ukraine has lost the war. Very clear and obvious statement from the leader of Hungary, part of, uh, that is part of NATO. And I will be quoting to you his words. The situation on the front is obvious. There has been military defeat. The Americans are going to pull out of this war. They are not going to encourage the war and, they, and say that the war is a good thing. People say a lot of things about Trump, including people who don't like him. But there is one thing that no one questions, which is that he does not launch wars. Viktor Orban said this during an interview, uh, a radio interview in Budapest. He also said that if United States President-elect Donald Trump had won, had won the US election in 2020, there wouldn't have been a war in Ukraine. Uh, I think he won the election, but I'm not going to go into my theory what's really taking place. Uh, or what took place since then. Let me just focus on what Orban said. Quoting Viktor Orban, everyone knows that if Donald Trump had won in 2020 in the United States, these two nightmarish years wouldn't have happened. There wouldn't have been a war. There would have been such a strong leader for America who would have concluded the necessary agreements in due time. That didn't happen. Zelensky also made a statement in regards to this and he says, it's a big statement, not so big Zelensky, but he said that he believes that Trump wants a fast solution to the conflict. Quoting Zelensky now, this is actually from November 7th, uh, that's when he said it, I think in Budapest, in Hungary. Today I believe that President Donald Trump truly wants a fast solution. Wanting that doesn't mean it will be that way. I say this without accusation. I just say that we are where we are. We are at war with Russians and it's a fact. This is the hardest enemy of this century. I don't only talk about human rights here. Surely people are form foremost important. This is coming from Zelensky. I say that a person, meaning Putin, wants to tear Ukraine to pieces. And it is a big challenge because it is a very big country. We want a just end to this war. I am sure that a fast end of war means losses. Losses, he repeated. And I think if it's very quick, I don't know about this idea. We didn't discuss it with President Trump. I think that he will prepare with his team some proposals or views, his views. So this is what Zelensky said. Um, let me now go to Biden, what Biden is doing or uh, whoever is playing as Biden or acting as Biden. Because I think there's many people who are acting as him. <laughs> he says, well, he doesn't say, he actually makes the last moves he can make in Ukraine and a significant shift. Outgoing President Joe Biden has authorized United States military contractors to work in Ukraine, lifting the previous ban. This new policy allows contractors to repair advanced United States supplied weapons closer to combat zones, addressing repair delays that arise when equipment is sent to neighboring countries. American contractors will be limited in number and positioned away from active combat zones. Biden's policy now aligns the Pentagon with the State Department and US aid in Ukraine. Contractors will help Ukraine rapidly 
maintain F-16 jets and Patriot missile systems, their employer must develop risk migration plans to ensure contractors' safety in Ukraine. Moscow has criticized NATO for its direct involvement in supporting Ukraine's defense operation. Russia claims sophisticated US-made weapons require American operatives to function properly. Putin has pointed to US-provided missiles as evidence of NATO's active involvement. Contractors will provide faster repair alternatives to lengthy international maintenance roads. Pentagon sources described as a small contractor presence far from active combat zones in Ukraine. So, how I see this before we go to the last topic and that is Elon Musk uh, and the phone call with Zelensky that he was part of, Trump phone call with Zelensky and Elon Musk was part of and a post from X from Elon Musk in regards to that. I will say this and this again might be controversial but at this point I don't care because it's my channel so I can say it. I think there is a lot of things going behind the scenes that it might take a long time for many of us to know the, the truth. For some of us we can feel it, we can sense it or we have been feeling it for a long time. I think this was exactly meant to be this way. Of course, there are many major casualties in this. However, what's taking place is Putin is doing this. How I say it, guys, so you get my point. Behind the scenes, they are all fighting against the same evil. And Putin is doing a favor for Trump to not only expose the deep state involvement in Ukraine, not just in regards to the military uh, situation as far as the corruption and uh, abuse of the system, not just because of the laboratories that are in Ukraine, also human trafficking. So he's destroying that from his side and that is very important part. It's not just Ukraine that he is conquering. He's also weakening, as we know this. We have been talking about this for a very long time. He's weakening NATO. And I think ultimately NATO will cease to exist. And this is exactly how it's supposed to be. This conflict in Ukraine, as horrible it is with the victims and the losses, Seems like this is the only way to not only expose those people, ultimately, who are putting their sticky, dirty hands in another country and profiting from it, but also to bring down this organization that has been oppressing other countries, like Serbia, you know, Yugoslavia, uh, Libya, so many places, I'm talking about NATO. So it weakened NATO, it weakened those leaderships, those governments that all are in cahoots in this project or are all are part of it. And, you know, Putin is doing his thing. And Trump knows about it, but he has to play this game. And people still think it's uh, like they are opposing one another. Actually, they are fighting the same evil just uh, with the different tactics, I would say. So, Elon Musk, November 8th, that is yesterday, this is from reported by TASS. Elon Musk suggests that the bloodshed in Ukraine will end soon. Quoting now his post from X, social network, his network, the senseless killing will end soon. Time is up for the one warmongers profiters. Musk wrote on X commenting on media reports of United States President-elect Donald Trump's plans on a settlement of the conflict in Ukraine. It was also reported that Musk took part in a phone call between Trump and Zelensky. Earlier, the Wall Street Journal, which you know no one really trusts, but I'm going to read you this. 
Earlier, the Wall Street Journal reported that Trump and his team had crafted a plan to resolve the conflict in Ukraine by establishing 1,300 kilometer long demilitarized zone along the current battlefront. However, the United States would not send peacekeepers to the region. Under his proposal, Ukraine would be obligated to refrain, uh, sorry, retrain, retrain uh, from seeking NATO's membership for at least 20 years. So I don't think NATO will even exist as far as 20 years ahead, but that's what it says here. And I don't think this is quite, le you know, if this is legitimate, if this is the plan they really have in mind, I'm not sure. But uh, in return, Washington would continue supplying Kiev with weapons to prevent potential conflict resurgence. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov has said that Wall Street Journal publication is an ab abstract. So there you have this and I will end this video well with great comments of the day, fantastic comments. I'm going to read you this. But what I want to say is um, I, I really don't talk about it much, but those of you who would like to support me, the best way to do it is on my Patreon or Locals. Uh, it really means a lot to me if you join me on those two platforms and become my supporter. Also, if you haven't got my book, this is a good time because you might still get it before, before Christmas. And this could be a good gift to someone who has a friend or family member who is interested in politics. Covering Ukraine, the Scott Reiter interviews through the eyes of Anya K. The links are down below this video and you have also directly from the publisher. So now we have three comments of the day, everyone. Actually, it's a one comment and there are two responses to this comment. So the first one is, let me see, it's from the United States, from the video I put out yesterday, I believe. Let me see. One second, let me just flip the right page. Okay, it's from Irene Palmer and she says... Yes, this is from the video yesterday in which I was telling you about uh, what Trump is going to do with all this satanic laws of changing the, the gender, brainwashing kids, uh, all the big pharma and stuff. So Irene Palmer says, my grandchildren told me that there are people in her school who think they are cats or dogs or whatever, and they walk around with leashes on themselves and they meow or bark in school. I feel so sad for my grandchildren who are in pu public school. The ones that are in Christian schools don't have to deal with it. We are not a world country right now in the United States. Horrible, isn't it? Just, it's almost like surreal when you think about it. And Dorota K, I believe you're from Poland, uh, you respond, or you're Polish, this is pure madness and so sad at the same time for those children who don't get a, who don't get any proper support and are being allowed and even encouraged to be in this delusional state. Also to those who see how wrong is that and cannot say anything about it, but have to pretend they are okay with it because otherwise would be punished. Sick and crazy, absolutely. And one more comment underneath is from Philippe Jueni or Jueni who says this is demonic, absolutely 100% purely demonic, but we all know it, don't we? That's what we are against. That's what we are fighting with. Represented in different ways and forms and faces and shape shapeshifters, etc. Guys, it's really cold. My hands are already freezing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. Please hit this like if you don't mind, if this brings you any value. Subscribe to my channel uh, if you keep on returning and watching the videos. That means there is something for you here. Leave the comments down below and also let me know from what country you are watching me. Uh, that would be great. And approximately your age and gender, because I believe I only have two genders in my channel, male and female. <laughs> Dogs are not watching. I mean, some dogs are watching, but they're not going to type. Thank you so much. Uh, all the links are down below this video, including my book. That will mean a lot to me if you consider purchasing this. can be a great gift. Also, uh, locals, Patreon, if you can become the Patreon supporter would be great. PayPal, my Instagram there as well. And yeah, lots of love. And remember, we are the leading edge. 
and we are saving humanity. Bye everyone, see you in another video.